Hey, it's Jackie and welcome back to my vlog channel. I'm doing some folklore inspired Taylor Swift hairstyles for fall because I am headed to the film tonight, the Eras Tour film. I have clip-in bangs on but then the rest is my actual hair but I did get some wigs from YesStyle so I do want to unbox them in this video and see if anything will work for like a Taylor transformation because this is just inspired and I think if I had like the wig and everything I could do a decent job and I'm wondering if I should wear like a bodysuit and bejewel it myself. Not quite sure if I have the time or the skill to do that but it would be so fun for a tutorial and I could do her stage makeup. Let me know if you like that idea. Oh, this eyelash keeps coming up. It's driving me nuts. have my candle warmer going and I'm just waiting for a call with work. But after the call, I wanna show you this full outfit because I think it's really cute and simple to wear. And then also I have a Halara haul. I live in active wear. I love anything comfortable, so I hope you enjoy it. Okay, here's the first Taylor look. My hair's already started to fall, but it still fits the vibe. And I have this blue sweater from ASOS, super comfy. And these pants are from Abercrombie. And yeah, here's the easy folklore look. Taking a break from the Taylor looks and now I have on this Bridget Bardot inspired updo. I did a makeup tutorial on my main channel and I got a lot of great feedback that you wanted to see the updo. It was on a wig so I have attempted to do it on my own hair though I don't have bangs so these are like the ends of my hair styled as bangs. I love Halara and I hope you guys like these pieces. If you do you can use my code Jackie15 for a discount. Let me double check that's even right. Oh, it's 15 Jackie. Halara did send me these outfits, but I picked them out, and of course you'll see what they look like for yourself. The first pair from Halara have a lot of support. I love these ones. These are made more for exercise, and they have tummy control. They feel amazing, and I always go for like blue or brown for some reason. I almost never go for black, but they do have tons of colors. <laughs> They're very stretchy, and they do have a phone pocket here. My phone's a little obnoxious though. The top. This has little pads in it that you can remove. I really like it with. I feel like some of you will really like this blue sweater. I love the color of it, and I've been wearing this a lot. You'll see it two times in this video because I filmed this vlog over like the last month, pretty much all of October, beginning of November, and I kept grabbing for it because I love the color. These are their flare leggings. Again, I have a brown instead of a black just because I prefer that, and we have some cool pockets here. And you know what? I wore this exact outfit to Canada's Wonderland recently. I am at Canada's Wonderland, so I'll show you kind of some of the coolest spots. And I'm in a whole Halara outfit. Ignore the mess back there. We've gone on a couple trips. But I'll show you this whole outfit because it's so comfortable and cute. But me and Tyler are ready to have a great day at Wonderland. <laughs> It was a perfect casual comfy outfit for a theme park and look how pretty Canada's Wonderland is in the fall. You do with me. No, I'm not. I can't do that one. I'm sorry. Sorry, boo. All the hair ties. Oh yeah, another snack to come. there when it was Oktoberfest, so we had some German food, ended the day with a funnel cake and a really cute Canadian mousse. Next up we have this Cloudful set, and this top I've seen so many times in ads and I really like it, especially the little clasp. Look at this crossover band. I have worn these on long drives, and let's try this really cool top on. Again, it has little pads cool little detail. This is very fabulous. You'll have to let me know which item you think is the cutest so far. I have two more pieces to try on and these ones are the pad off leggings. They're again super soft. I'm trying out this blue. I almost never go for light shades because I kind of worry about cellulite showing through. I definitely have some right here but let's try these on and this is the pad off formula or material I guess and if you have animals and you've ever had leggings and they get all bally and like collect pet hair then you can just kind of take the hair off easier with this material. It doesn't get all bally. I actually love this color. I'm gonna try these on with this ballerina looking top. It's light pink and then the back has this cool lace-up detail. Oh I wanted to 
show you might have been able to see it in this try on but because I already have like a full face of makeup and I was trying to avoid my hair I got bronzer on this and I've already got bronzer on this before and it comes right out and the final skirt so cute again my code is 15 Jackie if you like Lara and you want to get a discount and this was the wig that I was talking about I got two different wigs to do Taylor Swift looks here's the first one maybe this is more um, Hannah Montana <laughs> I feel like this was Taylor's hair at one point, but this might be too light. It is a great wig though. Yeah, this is like an earlier Taylor look, like this picture. I also got a darker blonde one, kind of original 1989. I'll have to see if I can make this blonde one work. I don't think I can color it. Anyways, I'm gonna have to try to figure this out, but hope you enjoy the rest of this vlog and let's head to the Eras tour. Okay, here's the look that I'm wearing to the concert. I did a similar inspired glam to the cardigan video, a little more glam with lashes, and then I am wearing the cardigan, of course. From here, let's do the iconic folklore buns. Braid down the length of your hair. Twist the braid from the base going backwards into a bun. With your pins, make sure you get some of the top loop of the braid secured into the scalp and surrounding hair to flatten and secure. Folklore is my favorite set in the Eras Tour. Let me know yours below. By the way, I've been obsessed with an air fried grilled cheese, so I'm gonna make that real quick. And another cute fall item that I've been dying to unbox for you guys are these new boots by La Road. I love these boots. These boots are definitely not outdoor boots, but... <laughs> For the final hairstyle, we're gonna make one braid at the back, super simple. I only did four or five French braided motions until the hair was all included at the neck. Finish off the braid, pull apart those swooping pieces. Which style was your favorite? Halloween kitty. <laughs> Updating the vlog because something super exciting happened. I'm working with Juicy Couture and look at this fragrance. This is the iconic Viva La Juicy. So I did my makeup. This is a very like 2010s glam. It's actually kind of inspired by Candace Swanepoel. And I also had my hair in big rollers, but it never really does what I want it to. And I find Velcro rollers very painful, but my hair is basically straight, but I do have some volume going on. And part of the campaign, sorry, I'm like out of breath. I've been running around, but part of the campaign is that I'll be in like a public space, but looking all glam. Here's a close-up of the outfit. I got my Uggs on. And I'm gonna take this off because this isn't juicy. But yeah, we have the fragrance. Let's head in. I just did a bunch of model struts. We have many takes. Don't really know what I'm doing, but it was a lot of fun. Back home. Embodying the iconic Viva La Juicy fragrance by Juicy Couture. 
I've taken inspiration from 2010 supermodels here. Shimmery taupe smoky eye, glossy nude lip, and let's hit the runway. Make everyday couture with Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture. He's wiggling. Do you look just like Cassie? Teddy bear. He's throwing punches. He's sticking his tongue out. Yeah. Hey, likes that. He likes my hair. That's fun. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, you're happy though. He likes pulling hair. Don't, oh, don't eat it. Don't eat it. Family portrait. <laughs> Oh my god. Hey, hey Tate. <laughs> Poor boy. Oh my god. Are you a tater tot? Can you see Tate's picture? Um, I'll have to angle it. All right, Tate's first Halloween. <laughs> Look at that little face. The cutest tater tot and his potato head parents. Oh. <laughs> And I'm doing two different shoots. So tomorrow we're headed to Toronto and there's a beautiful like Christmas room that we've rented out. Hey, we've made it to Toronto and we're going to a studio and it's gonna be really cool. I hope anyway, <laughs> the pictures look cool. This is iPhone space and we have the Christmas tree. This is such a pretty room. I'll show you guys the details. <laughs> As I said, I'm shooting for Viva La Juicy. But this is like my dream tree. We have the pink box over here. Look at this. Check out the little cart there. It's a great spot. Yeah. Okay, next look. second look and now I'm taking some pictures of my merch because I haven't promoted that in a while and I still think it's cute. <laughs> That's a wrap. I'm just gonna wear my merch around Toronto. I'm wearing sleep pants. Maybe I'll have to change but we're gonna go to the mall, get some Christmas presents. probably finish up this pizza. Excuse me. Hope you enjoyed seeing some moments over the past month. I was sick for quite a bit of October, so this vlog there is chunks missing, but I was very inspired by folklore. Get this really pretty store. Gorgeous. And now we're in holiday season. You can keep on watching here.